everyone. So it is April 24th, Tuesday. Tuesday, April 24th, yep. And the last day I was on trail was April 11th. April 11th, we stopped at Winding Stair Gap which is what the plan was. We got a shuttle, Miss Beverly Awesome Careening uh, picked us up and really took care of us. Uh, picked us up, took us to the hotel. She went and did something for a minute while we showered and then she came and picked us back up and then took us to the laundromat, except the laundromat was closed for the night so we decided to not worry about it. And we went to um, Fats Cafe or Diner or something like that. It's kind of a barbecue steak place and got some really good food um, and then we had dinner with her while we were there which was really nice talking to her and everything and then she took us back to the hotel yeah and then um, ooh, sorry I just got a message which was really interesting I'll have to ask about that later um, so yeah she picked us up took us to the hotel, she came back and picked us up, took us to dinner, we got to hang out for a while, and then she took us back to the hotel for the night, and then the next day we got a rental car, and then we drove back to where we had parked at Amicalola State Falls, um, State Park Falls, whatever it's called, Amicalola, um, got the van, drove both of those to the rental car place, drop off the rental car, and then drove the van home to Florida, um, and we got home at like 12.15 in the morning, um, and we were able to go to my grandma's side and see her uh, for the last time um, and she passed away like 15 minutes after we got there so it seems like incredible timing but I think it's because she was waiting on us to get there so it was good really sad but good at the same time so April Friday April 13th um, was technically when she passed away, which is interesting coincidences. Um, so we've been here at home for almost two weeks now because of that timing and then the funeral being the next Saturday um, and that it was beautiful memorial ceremony and all that. Um, very very beloved woman because she was an incredibly loving woman. Um, Shirley Jean Calhoun, my maternal grandmother. Uh, she will be missed terribly by oh, many people. Um, I'm really glad that we were able to get back in time and that the timing worked out with what we were kind of already planning and all of that. Um, we're glad that her suffering is over um, and glad that we know she's in a better place with so many people that she loves dearly and has missed for a really long time. So we will meet her again. It's going to be incredible. And I know that she had an incredible, uh, welcoming party. <laughs> um, so yeah, so went on the trail for two weeks. I've been off the trail for two weeks. Uh, it was really good. Even if we hadn't been coming back for that reason, I almost wanted to come back to kind of reorganize, resituate a lot of things in my pack that I was carrying, um, my resupply boxes so that they actually make sense so my parents can send them off without having to do any reorganizing for me. Um, I've got a lot of that resituated and all that. Um, going back through all those resupply boxes has been really helpful to figure out what I actually want to have sent to me and when and all that. Um, and so dad went with me the first two weeks because mom was staying home to be with Grammy for that time. And I've been home for two weeks with both of them doing all sorts of stuff. And now mom's going to come out with me for about two weeks maybe a little more we'll see so that'll be really cool I'm, I'm excited about that um, so we were trying to figure out what towns we need to stop in what resupply boxes we'll need what we need to carry with us because mom needs to have a pack 
20 pounds or less uh, and I need to have a lighter pack than what I had started with uh, so we're trying to figure out what gear we're gonna need while we're together and then how to get me whatever gear I need to have when I'm by myself after she heads back home or whatever it is uh, so <laughs> we were planning on leaving this morning and that got changed on like Sunday and then we were thinking we we're gonna leave tomorrow morning and then that got changed today so we should be heading out Thursday morning um, oh my gosh which means I'll be off the trail for two weeks and a couple of days actually because I think I got off trail on Wednesday and I won't be back hiking again until a Friday so oh goodness it means I'm gonna have to be booking it once I get started again uh, especially once I'm by myself and through Virginia when it's flat I will need to be doing 20 mile days if not 25 or 30 mile days like all the way through Virginia because right now the average is like 14 mile days is what I'll need to average every single day from when I start back up again and we're not gonna do that the first week or two when it's me and mom we'll probably be doing 10 mile days um, <laughs> gosh. and that's without in town day like straight through like every single day I need to be doing 14 mile days if not more and that's not gonna happen at the beginning so that means I'm definitely gonna have to like make up the difference whenever I can always <laughs> oh man I, I didn't think that this was gonna be a vacation like that was never really what I thought I've always thought of it as a reset and apparently part of that reset is learning how to kick it into gear <laughs> No more procrastinating. No more chilling out and not doing things on days that I need to do things. I just have to do it. So, it'll be good. It's going to be more of a challenge than I had originally thought of it. Um, just because of timing and mileage and all of that. Uh, but it'll be really good for me, I think. Um, I could definitely feel a difference in my body already from just the two weeks of just muscles doing what they need to be doing and all that. Um, but having a lighter pack will help also because I was straining a little too much. My, uh, I rolled my ankle on day four of hiking. Uh, the ankle that I had injured in 2013, I like really injured it then. But when I rolled my ankle on day four, it wasn't horrendous. Um, and we hiked another like three or four miles that day before we got to camp. So I kind of favored it a little bit. So then the next day, my right or my left knee, just above my knee in my quad, that was starting to hurt. And then we had gotten into Neil Gap. So when we left Neil Gap, it started to be horrible. Oh my gosh, it was so painful. Um, so we had to take it a little easy and my dad helped carry some of my things since my pack was too heavy he like took a couple of those things for me so it wouldn't be uh, overwhelming and then it was kind of starting to feel better except that it was kind of starting to jump around so from my left knee I jumped to my right knee and then my both my ankles were kind of like I don't know about this and then I went back to my left knee and so I'm hoping that after two weeks off and starting with a lighter pack hopefully it'll be a little better than um than, than when i left off um i also got a little knee brace thing so i'm hoping that'll help i will probably get another one actually so i have it on both my knees because it already feels nice when i'm just walking around in florida without a pack on so <laughs> i should probably have that on both my knees at least for a while while i'm getting back into it um so i was just sitting out here watching the sunset I like to do that um, and then I realized that I should probably do a video because I haven't done videos in a long time so that's the main updates I think I need to do I'll do more once I get back out on the trail and you'll get to meet my mom uh, you met my dad Steven Papa Bear um, and my mom is Kelly Mama Bear and I don't know if there's anything else to talk about I think that's the main things so yeah, we'll be getting back out there here soon. <laughs> a little later than originally expected, but it's been good being here, getting things set up again and being in my house. It's not gonna be my house for very much longer because when I get back from the trail, 
they're gonna be looking to sell it soon after that and then I'm gonna be moving out to Arizona so then I won't be living in it and then it'll be sold and it won't be my home anymore so it's kind of weird so I guess I am going to give you a little bit of what a house looks like from the back I'm gonna see if I can flip this around I don't think I can flip it around when I'm starting okay so behind me let's see that's the driveway and the screen porch and then that direction is the playhouse shed storage area workshop that we built woohoo we built that and then all the way down there is the backyard one more of the backyard we built that fence all the way at the back the big old fire pit and then the garden that my dad and I built in the rose corner and then the gardenia is over there I think you can see yeah gardenia and then yeah our awesome pool oh this pool and then, uh, yeah, the rest of the yard. But that's all, I guess. I'm gonna miss this backyard. It's been, uh, I love this backyard, actually. It's really relaxing. Um, I do a perimeter check all the time. <laughs> check on my plants and my garden and the pool. Check the skimmer basket to make sure no little lizards or frogs are dying in there. And then our gardenias. Oh, I'm so excited about our gardenias. Right there, you can see. The first bloom started on Friday, and then Saturday it went from like no blooms on it, it's just it's already like getting covered with blooms. Yay! I love plants. <laughs> but uh, alright, I guess this video is a little too long already, so I'll say bye. I'll give you more info when we get out there and figure out what we're doing and how far we're going and all that. I think we're gonna stop in. We're starting at Winding Stair Gap, and then we're gonna stop at Fontana Dam, Gatlinburg area, and then the next spot will be Hot Springs, I think. And then Mom will probably head off in Hot Springs. So, after that point, I'll probably be by myself. That'll be interesting, and then I'll hit Virginia, or I'm in, yeah, I think I'll be hitting Virginia just after that, and then I'll have to start, oh, stepping out. That's what I'll have to start doing. So I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.